Paying attention to the current search version can be a great help in BibleWorks. The search version is the version that appears here in the command line versions button. It also displays at the top of the browse window and displays in a blue color in the browse window. Search version controls what you search on in the command line. Also the toggle for changing between browse mode and multiple version mode in the browse window. And the search version controls how the stats tab displays statistics on your last search. Lists of words that appear in the sections of scripture that you're studying in the context tab. And list of words that appear in the whole version, your search results, or the words that you search for in the command line in the words tab. There are different ways to change your search version. You can go up here to search on the main menu and choose search version. That'll open up this little window. Then you can find the language version that you wish to change to, perhaps to a Greek morphology version. For the Greek New Testament, or Hebrew morphology version, like the WTM. Or another language version. You can use the search menu, but a quick way to change your search version is just by hitting Escape Escape by hitting escape escape that brings your mouse cursor to the command line and then type the version that you wish to switch your search version to. So if I wish to switch my search version to the NAS I can just type in NAS hit enter and now my search version is the NAS. So the command line is another way to change your search version but you can also change your search version on any version that's displayed in the browse window just by clicking on its version abbreviation. So I double click on version abbreviation, change of BGT, or down here to WTM, or up here to the CUS. Switch to KJV by double clicking on the KJV that's on display. Keeping an eye on your search version is also helpful if you're conducting searches from the browse window. Let's say you double click on a word to search for it. The search will use the version that you double clicked on. And when it conducts that search, it'll change your search version. So I double clicked on Moriah from the NAS. And now I've changed to the NAS is my search version. It does this in Greek or Hebrew when you double click or right click and choose search on lemma. But notice that with searching on lemma, it doesn't quite change the search version. I'm still at BGT, which I had chosen a few steps ago. Searching on Lemma searches underneath, but doesn't change the search version. So it's a good idea to keep your eye on the search version, because sometimes just running a search, or even adding a version from the drop-down list, will change your search version. You'll also notice that sometimes the command line versions button here will have two versions together. The first one is your search version. The second version is the version that was last used for your search and is the version that displays your search results. So one thing that may change this second version here, but not your search version, is if you do a right click search on lemma. For this we'll search for any form of the word in Greek or Hebrew. And it displays those search hits in Greek but it was actually searching the Greek morphology version for the version that you right-clicked on. 
So remember that the second version relates to the way that the verses will display here in the search window after you've conducted a search. But the first version here is the version that's used to conduct a search from the command line or to display in single version browse mode. One little bonus item to note, if you click on the command line versions button, notice that there's a choice for a synchronized results list. If you click on it, it will synchronize the search results to your current search version.